Welcome to my February newsletter video. This is your author, Mark McNeese. And as I explained in my introductory short clip last month, I'm going to be doing these every month to include them in my um, subscriber newsletter. So uh, it's an update on what I'm doing, uh, what I've done in the last few weeks or last month, keep you posted and also to keep you to, to give you a little bit of sense of who I am as a person, not just an author and not just somebody who's promoting my ebooks and my books and my podcasts and all of the things that I do. You know, I'm actually a real person. And this is me at 5.30 in the morning, which is about an hour after I am usually at my desk. I get up very early, partly because we have uh, two cats and one of them thinks that I need to be out of bed at 4 o'clock to feed her. I'm trying to remedy that with um, an automatic feeder that will drop down some dry food at 3 o'clock in the morning. Other than that, I don't give them dry food. So if you have a cat, you know, there's my bit of advice. Dry food is not good for animals unless you're away from home and you don't have any choice. But it's like I can't get up at 4 o'clock with this, this little girl yapping at me every day. So I'm doing the, the automatic feeder thing that I learned from a cat behaviorist. Now, I don't want to spend too much time on my personal life. You know, just a quick little stuff here and there. I, my husband got a vaccine, his first shot. I'm waiting for mine. I work where there's a pharmacy. It's very frustrating because they can't get the vaccine. It's in Pennsylvania. Uh, and so I'm in limbo. Like everybody I know is getting vaccinated and I'm not. And uh, <laughs> it's just another one of life's many frustrations. Now, let's move on to the uh, creativity stuff. Um, as, as you know, if you're a subscriber, I finished narrating um, Reservation for Murder, a Kyle Callahan mystery. My latest release, it was the sixth book in the series. Um, a lot of people are saying it's their favorite, but I decided to narrate it myself, um, not as an, as an official audio book that goes out on, you know, Ace, through uh, ACX. It's a production company that in, in the, it goes into Audible and iTunes and all of that. I didn't want to do that. I have worked with wonderful narrators for 10 audiobooks um, they're professionals it's very hard work and it's it's not free it's ex you know it's expensive so I said I'm gonna just try something new I'm gonna do a podcast mark McNeese mysteries .com, and narrate this book myself so I did that three chapters at a time the last episode number 17 uh, was the last 10 chapters because I thought well let's just finish this off I also did it as a standalone audiobook on SoundCloud and you can get to that through my website um, where you can just listen to the entire audiobook chapter after chapter there's no because the podcast I, I give little you know personal updates every every episode um, the audiobook on SoundCloud is it's just like getting an audiobook on audible you know you play it you stop it when you want to it's chapter for chapter so check that out and my next uh, reading that I'm going to do for th for that is um, it's called um, Rough and Tumble, a dystopian love tragedy. Uh, that tagline is tongue in cheek, but it's a it's a very dark story that takes place in pretty much the end of civilization about these two young men who live in that time and in that environment, uh, and it's about their relationship and their final journey together. It's called Rough and Tumble. I'm going to do that in April. Uh, I'm also uh, about a third of the way through the next Maggie Doll mystery. Now, I don't just write, you know, it's just, I don't like, shouldn't use that word. I don't only write gay mysteries. I write fiction. I've been writing fiction my since I was a child. And I have a series called the Maggie Doll Mysteries. Uh, there's one book out called Black Cat, White Paws. That audio book was narrated by Holly Palance, who some of you will, if you're old enough, will, will remember the... Um, the omen, the nanny that fell off the window and died. <laughs> that was Holly. She's Jack Palance's um, daughter. She did a great job narrating Black Cat, White Paws. But I'm doing the second book in this series. It's Maggie Dahl. She and her husband moved to Lambertville, New Jersey, as most of my characters have done. Uh, and he dies suddenly in the first book. Um, and she stays in Lambertville. She starts their businesses. And then the next thing you know, she's trying to solve the murder of her neighbor. Uh, the second book is called Open Secrets. There is a local author who's mentioned briefly in the first book uh, who um, is suddenly not uh, at the coffee shop where she always is every day writing. Um, I'm not going to say more about that. It's called Open Secrets. It's going to be out this year. I'm also um, working on the third Marshall James thriller. 
there's two of them out. There's only going to be three. It's meant to be a three book series. And that one is called Final Audition. I'm not going to take up too much time with that because I can keep you updated as these go on. So that's what's going on here. It's the next video I hope to be outside. You know, we've had quite a winter here in uh, rural New Jersey. And um, I'm looking forward to doing some of these that are on our back patio. Because I'm using an iPhone. I'm also using a headset, which I'm not crazy about. I don't like videos with people wearing headsets. But the sound is so much better because it's plugged into my iPhone. So I hope you have enjoyed this little clip. You're only going to get one a month. So if you don't like it, it can't be too painful. Um, and that's it. You can reach me at uh, markmcneese.com, markmcneesemysteries.com. You can always email me at mark at markmcneese.com. Uh, I hope you're enjoying your life. I think we're coming to the end of this pandemic stuff. It's going to be more months, probably the rest of this year. But someday we are going to return to a new version of normal. Things will not be what they were ever again. But we're going to come out of this, and I can't wait. So I'll see you next month. This is Mark Picknese. Thanks.